Edicts, prohibitions, and arrests were the means by which the Ministry of Church Affairs tried to subdue the Confessing Church. On June 9, 1937, collection of offerings for the Confessing Church was declared illegal. Bishop Heckel of the Reich Church accused Bonhoeffer of being a pacifist and therefore an enemy of the state and called for measures to be taken to stop him from training German theologians and pastors. He and all other teachers from the seminaries of the Confessing Church were barred from the University of Berlin. The Gestapo raided churches and meetings, arresting hundreds. On July 1st, Dietrich Bonhoeffer and Eberhard Bethke went to Dahlem for consultation with Martin Niemöller at his house. However, Niemöller had been taken away only minutes before by the Gestapo. First, they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. Niemöller, however, did speak out, and as a consequence, lost eight years of his life to the Nazis. He remained in the concentration camps of Sachsenhausen and Dachau till the end of the war in 1945. While Bernhofer and Bethke were still in the house, the Gestapo returned and put them all under house arrest, making them involuntary witnesses to an eight-hour search of Niemöller's study. The news of the persecution of the confessing church reached London. This is a critical hour. It is not only the fate of the individual pastors, it is the case of the attitude of the German state to Christianity. Times, July 3rd, 1937. On August 29, 1937, all substitute colleges set up by the Confessing Church were banned. The wave of arrests also reached Finkenwalde students. By Christmas 1937, the Gestapo had arrested 27 of them and had sealed shut the doors to Finkenwalde. <laughs> 